<laughs> it's cold. Hi guys and welcome to today's task. For today's task, I am doing something a little bit off my normal beaten path. You're gonna enjoy this. For Christmas, I was given this beautiful 22 inch Blackstone grill from my in-laws and I need to get it prepped and ready to use. I was really excited about how simple the setup was. I thought I was gonna be nut and bolting things together all day. I've had grills like that, which that's fine, but I thought that's what I was in for. Wasn't at all, it really was a quick setup. But the most useful part is the seasoning of your Blackstone top. Looking at the Blackstone top right now, it's just a nice clean piece of steel. There is a little bit of chemical on there, but we don't want that on there. We are gonna season it with some proper cooking oil and it requires mostly just time. The only tools we'll need are some flaxseed cooking oil, some tongs and paper towels, and a damp cloth. So I'm gonna take the damp cloth at first with the tongs. They really recommend that because it's obviously hot. We've got the burners on high running and I'm just wiping down everything that I can to get it cleaned off. Any excess machining oil, anything like that. We want to get that cleaned off, scraped up and out of there. Cooked rag, anybody? That feels pretty good. Now, if you take this into any local spa, they can use it. Give somebody a hot rag. That was a dumb joke. So we've got it clean. You can see the color temperature changing here. This is getting really, really hot and we've got this thing about as hot as it can go. So the next step is to be applying our oil. You can use any cooking oil you want, but I've heard flaxseed oil is kind of the best because it has the highest burning temperature. Just drizzle it on there. Huh. We'll see how level our grill is that's probably enough grab a paper towel fold it up get it in your tongs and start kind of painting it around as my dad used to say you're going to paint the grill now we want everything the sides not just the cooking surface we want everything covered now we sit for about 10 minutes and let that oil completely smoke off. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Time to put round two on. Word to the wise, you do need a big propane tank if you're seasoning because it's a lot of time that you're burning fuel and you'd hate to run out in the middle of it and then uh, have a problem later on. So, black seed oil one more time. On the griddle we go. Be pretty generous. And round two. 10 minute timer starting now. Time for round four. Three, no. The whole reason you do this is one, so the food doesn't stick to it. It gets a little bit better flavoring out of it. But two, it won't rust. If you've treated it with the oils, um, this won't rust. It'll weather a lot better. So you can do the same thing with any cast iron stuff, like a Dutch oven or something like that. Exact same process. And I'm gonna even do a little bit on this outside so it kind of seals that as well. Three. Ready for round four. And I think four is my final round. I plan on staying outside for a while because my clothes are like infused with that burnt oil smell. Like really, really burnt frying oil or something like that. And every time my kids walk by me, they're like, Dad, you stink. So if you're doing this, I recommend staying outside. 
And there it is, guys. Just as simple as that, our Blackstone is now seasoned and ready for cooking. And I'm actually gonna make some chopped cheese sandwiches. If you haven't seen what a chopped cheese is, they're a bodega staple in New York. And a few of the people that I like to follow and watch on YouTube, they've made them. Sam the Cooking Guy, Josh Wiseman, uh, I think even Hungry Hussy's done them. So they're awesome sandwiches. But now you know how to season your Blackstone. And this goes for the same as any other cast iron item you have, whether it's your cast iron pans or if it's a cast iron Dutch oven, um, this seasoning process works the exact same. High heat and lots of oil and burn it on and off. Why are you so interested when I'm cooking outside? He's gonna show me. It's okay. Are you kidding me? You're great. I look like a homeless woman that's taking care of COVID children. You look like a housewife. Not, I am not your typical housewife. Hey, hurry. Shoot some running. And sign up for the restaurant life. She can't handle the heat. Take it to the patio. You know, <laughs> you're ruining my joke. Oh, I'm sorry. What are we going to say? Get out of the kitchen. I guess so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. We'll move on. It's like it never happened. I feel like I'm embarrassed in front of your friends because I'm in my robe. Sweetie, they're your friends too. Mm. They don't even know me. They all know you. They're gonna know you as a slow lady though if you don't hurry. Let's go. Aw, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat these, sweetie. Good job. Uh, That's so good. Here's the beauty of cooking on these or using them is you can take metal to metal all day long. And honestly, the more you use it, the less texture will be on this. It'll smooth it out even more, so. Scrape that thing clean. All right, I wanna heat this grill up one more time. Wipe it down real good everywhere. Now that we've got it hot, throw a little steam on there. We are not done yet, folks. Coat this one more time my oil. This is the key to this is that every time you put it away, give it another coating of oil. The better care you give them now, the better they'll be every time you go to use it. I'm going to burn that off one more time and call it good. You guys, hopefully you learned something in today's video. I know it's a little different than my normal videos, but I'm a big hobbyist of a lot of things. So this is one of my hobbies and one of my joys and I really wanted to break this guy in before we have uh, some big opportunities coming up to use it. So if you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you've got any tips or tricks for taking care of your cast iron as well, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Fingers are cold. What's wrong with me? Hi guys and welcome. Yeah, off a little bit. Let's turn that light on, maybe that'll help. Give me a little bit of sunshine. I got a light burned out. Huh? Another today's task, I guess. Right now, and if you haven't seen them, they're amazing. They're a, a, a grill, sorry. But they recommend, not they, 